Welcome. This video will show you how you can easily create your first dashboard within five minutes using Beetle. Connect to the app and go to the Imports tab. Click on New and then select which type of connector you want to use. In this example we use CSV data. Choose the name of your connector and then select your file by clicking the Browse button. This is the file we're going to use. Note that the first line contains column headers. This is something important. The rest of the file is just raw data. To finish, select the numbers format of your CSV file and click on Upload. Beetle analyzes your file and will automatically find which data are date, filters and metrics in function of the format of your cells. Product ID is in the metrics because these are numerical values but you can just drag and drop it on the filters section. By clicking your metrics you can display a quick setup window. Here you can set up the name, the category and the axis of your metric. You can select which chart you want to use for the specific metric and the unit. Then you can apply a monthly target and select how your metric is calculated. For example, if you want to make a sum of all the values or an average. Note that this window is only displaying a part of all the parameters of your metric. You can fully set up your metric later in the metric tab. Click on the Save button when you have finished. The file is then uploaded and you receive an email confirmation when it's finished. Click on the Dashboard tab to access your dashboard list. From then you can display the dashboard of your choice. On the visualization window of your dashboard, you'll be able to choose your analysis period on the right upper section. On the left, you can see the list of your metrics classed by category. It will also display the trend and the state of your metric for the selected period based on the applied targets. In this metric section you'll find your filters. 
you can easily cross-tab all your data by clicking on your filters. All the metrics are dynamically updated when you change your filters. For each metric you can post a comment and display a tabular view of its values. You can also display all the historical values of your metric and the target. Now it's your turn.